Hey guys, Tequila here with Natural Skin Care Queen. Today I am going to be walking through um, a product page setup, okay? So that you'll know what to do um, after I transfer your site over to you and you want to add more products, okay? So right now, um, we're here on a product page. The way that I got to this was going to products and clicking on add a product, okay? So what I've done is went ahead and I added in a title. I um, put a little content. This is the box that you're going to put your content in. So let me. So what I always like to do is, is start by restating the name of the product, adding a picture of the product, and then the description of the product I do here. Okay, so um, let's just put, I'm just going to put something very generic, product description goes here. Okay, so what I used here was the formatting. You want that to be a heading of three. It gives you that nice bold font. The body which is going to be the words of the description, it's going to be in paragraph format. All right. So let's talk about the media. This is an alternate image um, that is going to show up um, on the product or the collection page. Okay, and you can add more of those if you would like to. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and add another one. Uh, I believe it's this one. Now, um, this allows us to reorder our images. One thing that I like to do is to make sure that these images are uniform in size. So what you do is you click on squares and let's see resize hmm, nothing's happening let's see try it again okay for some reason it's not letting me Click on that. Let me close out and try it again. Yeah, I don't know if that's a glitch because I'm recording or what. I think it's some type of glitch. So it looks like I won't be able to show you. That sucks. Okay, but what you would do is you would click on this and it would give you the option um, and you'll see, you would see square. So I would click on square and then I would be able to um, drag this to fill up that uh, preset size so that everything showed up the same size. And then I would go in and do this one the same. But it's not letting us do this because I'm recording. I think it's limiting some of the functions. So I apologize for that. All right, so this is where you would do pricing. OK, now we're not going to do that just yet, because as you can see, this customer has more than one variation of the same product. So the product here is incense. So she has different scents. So those would be variations. OK, so what I'm then going to do is to scroll down to variants. This product has multiple options like different sizes or colors. We're going to click that. So we're going to call this. Um, Sent. So on the product page, when we're in the view format, viewing it as a customer, it will be um, a, a tab here. It's going to look like this. It'll say sense. And then when it drops down, it's going to have the different scents. OK, so um, I'm not sure exactly what different scents she has. So I'm just going to make some up. Um, let's say lavender. Sage and um, I don't know, let's say 
Egyptian musk. All right. Hit enter on that. So as you can see, they populated those cents for me. And then I'll be able to go in and put the pricing. Okay. So I'm just going to put a price. And you can price whatever you want. Okay. And the quantity, if we choose that we want um, the system to track our inventory, then that is where that will happen. Okay. So therefore, we never sell more than what we actually have. So that keeps you from looking unprofessional to your customers. All right. Let's see what else here. Right. Um, hmm. So over here, what I did was I added a tag. So if my customers, if her customers want to go to her website and they want to search um, just by incense, it's going to pull up the product page. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and save this so that we can take a look at it in the customer's view. All right. So what we do is we come up here and we click on preview. Why is it blocking the pop up? So that's probably what was happening on the other. Possibly, I don't know. But this is how her page is going to look. All right. As you can see, these are not uniform because it wouldn't allow me to do that because I am doing a screencast of this for tutorial purposes. But normally, I definitely, definitely always have these the same sizes. All right. So as you can see, the scents are here. And we are able to go in and choose which one we want. And then we can add it to cart. Um, or they have a buy, buy it now button. OK. All right. And so that other image, remember, this is where it shows up. So you have the, the option of having two different images, your main image, and then this alternate image. And our product description, had we filled it out completely, would have come here. Uh oh, all right. So that is pretty much all that I wanted to show you guys on that, on this particular video.